As an example, let's use the for loop to automatically generate an array with 10 random numbers in it. We start with our for loop, and we create a constant of value 10, and now we insert a random number generator inside the for loop. Next, watch carefully as we connect the random number generator to the edge of the for loop. Notice how a tunnel is created. In this case, we see that the tunnel has two brackets inside it. If we hover over this tunnel, we see that the pop-up message tells us that it is an auto-index tunnel. What this means is that the loop automatically creates an array from the scalar values that reach the tunnel inside the loop. If we were to right-click on this tunnel and choose Create Indicator, we see that LabVIEW automatically creates an array indicator. If we expand this so that we can see the elements, and then run the VI, we see that we do indeed have an array of 10 random numbers automatically generated. Similarly, the auto-indexing tunnels of a for loop can be used to loop through an array in addition to generating it. We just compress our code to make a little bit more room. If we create a second for loop, this time we wish to loop through the array and add 5 to each element. Notice again as we connect the array data type to the edge of the for loop, a tunnel is automatically created. If we hover over it, we see that it is an auto-index tunnel. As before, what this means is that it will loop through the array, and so if we wish to add a constant value to each element of the array, we see that the output of the auto-index tunnel here is a scalar. If I create constant, set that value to 5, again take the output of the addition function and connect it to the edge of the for loop, Again, an auto-index tunnel is created, and if we were to create an indicator, we will see, as we run this code, that not only as before is the array of 10 random numbers generated, but those values with 5 added is placed in the value of array 2. Auto-indexing is enabled by default in for loops, as we saw here. It can be disabled by right-clicking on the tunnel and choosing Disable Indexing. In this case, we have a broken wire because we're attempting to connect a scalar data type to the array data type. Auto-indexing can be re-enabled by right-clicking and choosing Enable Indexing. It's also important to note that auto-indexing is possible with while loops as well as for loops, except for while loops, the behavior is that by default, auto-indexing is turned off, whereas for for loops, by default, auto-indexing is turned on.